top of the people. It is a beautiful Dublin morning. It's cold. It's just such a nice morning, man. I swear, when you wake up, it's a nice morning, it just puts you in a good mood. I woke up feeling exhausted, it's pitch black. It turned into a lovely day, just like, damn, in a good mood. I'm on my way to my 9 a.m. lecture. I mean, it is 10 past nine now, but that's neither here nor there, you know, that's whatever. And then I'm going training in Fly Fit on Mackin Street with a guy from my course, actually. I'm back in boys, Fly Fit Mackin Street. It's for a change of scenery, man. I'm gonna go walk to this lecture, see in a bit. So I'm in Fly Fit. First impression, I trained here once before, right? But first impression is this place is freezing cold. It's just like a giant warehouse and it is freezing. So I'm gonna make sure I warm up properly. Doing back advice. Let's go. All right guys, so first exercise. It's a little bit of a different back training to the way I'd normally train. So not the way I normally do it. Come in, compound, heavy stuff like that. Starting off with the cable pull over, open up the lats, get them engaged get warm because as I said it is freezing in here. I don't know what the story is. I need to get some heat or something but it's cold. But uh, yeah we've got Howard behind the camera training together. So yeah 12 yeah 12 reps. Four sets 12 reps. Seated cable row. It's a little bit of a different cable setup to our cable at home. So with this, you know what I do? Don't use your thumbs. Keep them out of the grip. So you're not engaged in your biceps. It's all back. Pull all the way through. We did something as well. You actually can pull the part through as I like it. Next up, it's a barbell row. Now, Howard's doing a variation of a barbell row. I don't like it, I don't feel it, so I'm doing a different variation. I'm just gonna do a normal 10 lay row that I would normally do. Now, I haven't done barbell rows in a while in my program, so it's actually nice just to kind of feel it again. But that's the thing, you know, just because something works for one person doesn't mean it's gonna work for another person, so it's all about working or finding what works for you. Also, keep that new physique. Anyway, let's go. The last back exercise. Okay, the so last back exercise. It's a single arm lat pull down plate loaded machine, which is a mouthful. But anyway, Herod and I were talking about this, so Herod isn't feeling it right now too much in his actual lat where he should be feeling it. And I was saying how important mind muscle connection is when you're training back. It, as I said before, it is probably the most important element of back training is mind muscle connection because you can't see it. Everything else you can see. When you train chest, you can see it. Train your arms, you can see it. Everything else you can see. You can't see your back. So when you're doing back, you have to just be visualizing what way your muscles are working inside your skin to try and optimize the contraction. It sounds like a lot of gibberish, but it actually works, so let's go.
said the last one's the last black exercise, but this is the last black exercise. Do the standard lap pull down. Sound control, mind muscle connection. Eight to ten reps, two apples. session. I'm gonna head home right now. I think my nanny and granddad are actually coming down to have lunch with me and my mom. So I'm gonna go home, chill with the grandparents. You know, you gotta show some love to the elderly. But uh, if you're watching this video right now, it should be Sunday night, which means for you tomorrow, I'm going to London for Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to see Future in concert there. So the next video you should see from me will be of me in London with the boys. I'm about to go home, hop on a bus, Eat some good food, chill with some people that I like, and have a good day. It's happening, so it is, it just is the next day. It's the next day, like um, I just didn't record anything when I got home yesterday because, for good reason, my nanny and granddad were over and we were just kind of chatting and stuff. I said they were coming over, which yeah, we were just kind of chatting and stuff. And then I went. I had a 21st that night, as I said. Now I wasn't drinking or anything because I knew I had stuff to do today and I was going to the gym. So I got up early, went to the gym this morning, and right now I'm going to get a haircut. And look at this. It's like raining here on me, right? But look over here. See that? That's Ireland, man. That's just, Ireland is stupid. What a stupid country. Love Ireland at all. Stupid country. Right, what's happening? So do you remember the other day, I was talking about the barber, be successful, who's my barber, etc. blah, blah, blah. It's the man, Jay, say what's up. What's happening? Anyway, this is Trench. I've seen it before in the videos. If you're coming, get a haircut. It's like the most asked question I get in my comments is where'd you get your haircut, blah, blah, blah. I say it all the time. If you come in, tell them I sent you. They'll look after you. Top man, good barber. Successful out as well. All right, lads. So haircut acquired, as you saw. But for real, go check out Jay. I'll leave all the details for the shop down in the description. I just love seeing, man. You know, talking about this the other day. I love seeing people, and especially like people from my area doing well. Young people doing well. It's, it's, it's just nice to see, like you know, a little motivating or something. I don't know. Let's go do a few little bits, a few little things to pick up. Do you ever notice like when you're going away somewhere, even if it's only for like two days, you always need to pick up something. There's always just something that needs to be picked up. Right now I need to go get some socks, possibly some boxers and some more stuff. I don't even know, but uh, I'm gonna go grab that and then back out of town. See you in a bit. Lads, I don't know how this keeps happening, but it's the next day again. <clears throat> I've literally just had the worst workout of my entire life. Like this is, this has never happened to me before, right? I had, I had, the worst workout I've ever had in my entire life. Ever. Ever. Like I went into the gym and it's it's Sunday, so normally I wouldn't work out on a Sunday. Like Sunday's normally my rest day. But because we're going to London tomorrow, and on Tuesday I'll be in London as well, so I'm not gonna get to work out for those two days because there's just, like I could if I really had to, but I'm not going to because I wanted to enjoy it. So I went up to do push today, just to, instead of doing it tomorrow. And it was the worst workout of my life, man. I just felt so weak, I felt terrible, I felt bad. So what I did was I benched, I did two sets of shoulder press, I did one set of triceps and I left because I just felt so bad. And I was just talking to Victor and Dano as well up there about London and stuff, so we were just taking so long. And it was just a bad workout. Honestly, that's never happened to me before. Like just feeling completely awful in the gym. It's not It's not the end of the world. I would rather it have not happened because I, I was really going into the gym to have a good session, like, you know, before I go away. And then it was just awful. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what's happening. I'm about to go pack for London, get all that kind of stuff ready, get sorted. As I said, the next time you see me, it's gonna be in London, wandering around doing bits. I actually just booked the London Eye and the London Dungeon for me and Dano tomorrow. So uh, yeah, we've got like, you know, it's gonna be good, man. I'm really looking forward to it. London's a great city. I haven't been since I was like 17. I did want to say one thing. People have been saying, you know, Sean, do what you eat videos, you know, bulking videos, full days of eating. And Glenn said exactly the same thing in his latest video. I eat the same thing pretty much every single day. So I will do one, I'll do a full proper one, and that'll probably be it because I literally eat the same thing and Glenn hit the nail on the head. It's all about being consistent with what you eat. So I will do I will do a full day of eating, I will do it well. It'll be a good video. You wanna see more food and stuff, sure I'll show it, but it's gonna be the same thing over and over again. And it's gonna be the same as Glenn's as well because it's just gonna be curry 
and more curry and then some curry. I'm gonna finish the video up here, people. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like. Leave it a like for London. Or I don't, like it's fine. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.